We're here in the central Walbrand Valley. It's an unprotected old growth forest that's actually outside of the Carmana Walbrand Provincial Park. It's arguably some of the finest old growth forests on Vancouver Island. Behind me is one of the contentious sections where Teal Jones has proposed logging cup blocks right across this hillside as well as in the upper castle grove for a total of eight proposed cup blocks. Uh, and today we're going to go visit some of these trees and see just what they're like. I had heard amazing stories about this place and it was kind of this lost world, this world that nobody could really remember how to get to and it was mysterious and just looking at maps it was some place I'd always wanted to get to. The first time I got here a girlfriend and I, as cheesy as it sounds, cried. Like we got to the river and it was just emotional, it was so intense. A few months ago, I was at work and I saw uh, a paper that said that uh, Cut Block had been approved in the wall brand, and I just knew I had to get involved. The next thing I did was I, I had spoken to some friends that had been here in the 90s. I said, what was I going to need to live out here on my own for a couple of months at the very least? First of all, it started with a simple shelter, just a tarp with a stick, and then it's grown and evolved, and work crews have come up almost every weekend to help make this place uh, a little better each time and we're entirely supported by donations from the public that come up, they bring food items, they bring building supplies, their volunteer time, it's been, it's been a good vibe here. About 96% of the low elevation old growth forest has been logged on southern Vancouver Island. Today this area represents the finest of some of that last 4% of old growth forest that we need to protect. So this is basically to allow people to come up, see the place, you know, do what they feel they must to protect it, and we just offer a place to keep warm, somewhere to cook, do your dishes, and lots of information. So if you're coming up here for a day or a week, there's some things up here for you. Some individuals had taken it upon themselves and decided that, uh, that what they needed to do was to stop certain crews from going and, and, and cutting down the forest. So, um, a bit of a blockade had been set up by a few individuals. So what you're saying is that you're not going to allow our people to go to work then? Um, we are not going to allow um, more destruction on the ecosystem in this watershed. And then now there's been an injunction. Um, and you're named in the injunction? I'm named in the injunction, yep. How did that feel when you found that out? Well, you know, they didn't get the name from me, they got it from a news report. So they're kind of grasping at straws because I wasn't a part of blockading them. I want people to know that, that this place is amazing, that everybody that come out here has a personal experience, that has a connection. There hasn't been anybody that has said, what's the big deal, this is like any other forest. Everybody seems to feel it. Today, pressure is really heating up on the logging company to back off and for the BC government to find a solution to protect this incredible ancient forest. The government should not have approved these cut blocks. And it's the heart of the watershed. It really does need to be included into that park. Come out if you can for however long, whether it's a day or a week. Love to meet new people, spread the word. And, and that really does count for something. Talk with your friends about it, talk with your family about it. Because there really is a, a wider range of people that care than you realize.